Welcome back, friends. So, we're going to continue putting in the details in this frog. So, I have my paint still here in case I need to go back and make any touch-ups. I see my paper is not completely dry, so I have to be very careful on uh, what I do next. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take my sil I have silver. You can use gray as well. And I am going to go over the bottom of the frog like that. Kind of fill in the details. And then I'm going to go over this part of its arm and I'm going to trace down like this and over like that. So everything on the left side or the top side of the line will continue to be green. Everything to the right of the line or on the bottom half will be gray. So we're going down like that. Down and we're covering underneath the arm of this frog. So his toes are gray. And we're going to stop right there to where it meets the belly part. And we're going to fill in the white spaces of the belly here. Make that gray. So we're kind of going to do the same thing with his feet. So we're going to draw a line like this and it's going to go to meet the dark side of the belly like that. So anything to the right is going to be gray or the bottom side and everything on the top or to the left is going to be green. So we're going to color all that in gray. Like that. Okay, so we're going to use the gray again later. Now I need you to take up the black and we're going to outline the frog. So I'm going to start with its back feet. So we're going to go around his toes so that we know his toes are there. Gonna outline that part, and we're gonna need to know that that's its leg right there. So we're gonna outline that part. Now we're gonna come over where its belly is and outline that. one of his toes, and that's the other toe, as it goes up to his arm. So now I'm going to line underneath his mouth part where his neck is going up around kind of where his nose is 
Parker's eye, his other eye is, and I'm going to darken his eye with the color pencil. And then I'm going to go over his back. And down where his feet is. Now where his mouth is, I'm going to darken that line so you can see his mouth and this line here. Anywhere where you see like a dark area, you can go over a little bit of black. I'm going to darken in his nose. That's where his nostril is. I don't quite see the other one, but I'm going to make a little line there. And then I'm going to go around his eye. And I'm going to darken it so that you can see that there is a frog here. And I'm going to go over it with my finger so that the pencil line is not too dark. Pencil line to be too dark. Alright, so the next part is the leaf. So I'm going to draw a line that goes up that's kind of grayish. And a line that goes from the center of the leaf outwards. I'll do another line there. And then another line there that goes behind the frog. And it looks like I'll go over with the braid that way and this way. Now for this side, I'll draw a line that comes out of from underneath the frog that goes this way and one more, and it goes around this way and behind his mouth. And I'll take the gray and go on the out, on the um, outer part of this darker green uh, color, and I'll do the same. If you want, you can extend the line out this way. Now I can just go over a little bit of uh, the frog with the yellow pencil. And I'm making kind of round circles around his, his head as well. And then I'm going to blend that in with my finger. A little bit on his his front leg and a little bit on his back leg. Fingers dirty. 
And there we have our frog picture.